Nostalgia is a beautiful, yet very melancholic thing. I often find myself going through those Minecraft nostalgia, Minecraft music posts, and this is kind of exactly what today's video is about. I'm sure most people are aware of what Minecraft is, I'm sure most people have a personal experience with it, and I'm sure most people can agree that old Minecraft had this certain charm, this kind of niche feeling to it. I'm here to try to deduct why Minecraft has this weird kind of adventurous and nostalgic vibe for the old Minecraft, as a lot of people nowadays consider current Minecraft to be boring, bland, or just not as special as the original game. So, hello everybody, I'm Neem, and if you will join me, this is the addictive nostalgia of Minecraft. As I said in the intro, I'm sure everybody knows what Minecraft is. It's a game where you spawn into a world, you punch a tree, you build stuff, you mine, you kill some things, in hopes to defeat the Ender Dragon or to just explore this world for everything that it has. The game is very simplistic in its nature. Anyone can pick it up and play it. My dad, who has been playing strictly Galaga and Pac-Man and sticks to those games, the Atari generation, he could even pick up Minecraft and he would probably find it simple. That's not to insult Minecraft's simplicity or to insult the older generation's love for video games like Galaga, Pitfall, Pac-Man. I like these games and I appreciate them as much as anybody. It's just used to emphasize how simple Minecraft is in its nature. Minecraft is a very childlike, imaginative, do-it-yourself video game and that is one of the main focal points that i feel makes the nostalgia factor of it absolutely elevate there's plenty of videos on the internet where it has this like beautiful serene minecraft landscape with the nostalgic music such as sweden or my city playing and when you look at the comments on these videos they're filled with memories shared about the game a popular quote is for every man who places his last block a young man places his first emphasizing that minecraft is a constant cycle these videos are very interesting to me because i personally really enjoy hearing people's personal attachments to something why they feel a certain way to that property Near Automata is one of my favorite games of all time, and it's because of the state of mind I was in, what I was feeling at the time, which makes it so special to me. Not only it's a damn good game, like, it's phenomenal, but the state of mind I was in at the time really emphasizes how amazing and special the game is to me, and I feel like it's the same for Minecraft. When we all played Minecraft, typically we were probably little kids. We were like maybe 10, maybe younger, maybe like 12, 13, about to be teenagers, you know. We were very young. And I'm I'm still a young person, obviously. I'm I eight I'm 18 this year. So it's not like it was ages ago, but it feels like it. Nothing beats that first feeling of picking up a copy of Minecraft for your PlayStation or Xbox, putting it in, and seeing for yourself what this game has to offer. While Minecraft isn't much, and still in its recent years, it hasn't really added much to its simplicity. It's still the same two, technically three bosses. It's still the same game progression. So what's different? As I said, it is important when you play a game because of your state of mind. Your state of mind can heavily influence how much you like that game. How your life is at the time can heavily influence how much you like a game. I feel like you're more prone to enjoy a game and consider it one of your favorites of all time when you're going through something. 
or even when you're going through nothing you can still like a game just as much i'm just saying i feel like in order to enjoy a game so much especially in the spectacle of minecraft you need a very emotional attachment towards it feeling of picking up your first block punching your first tree building your first house surviving your first night it really does stick with people and while it may not seem special to you or heck even me even though i feel nostalgia for minecraft i'm not really nostalgic about those things but some people view this as like the definitive stuff of minecraft what makes it so special and in my opinion what makes it so special is the childlike wonder the game provides when you first play it minecraft is a theoretically infinite game this world is huge you can wander in one direction for hours and you still won't reach the end of the world and you'll still find new stuff that is what makes people so addicted to it and i feel like that is also what makes people addicted to the nostalgia of it playing this game evokes a very childlike wonder feeling and since you know we were mostly children playing back then that whimsical feeling was further elevated by our actual childlike wonder it really fulfilled the dreams of just going in the middle of the nowhere i don't know if i'm the only person who has thought about this when they were a kid i even think about this now but i often think about like just walking into my woods and wandering one direction for hours and just see what it take where it takes me and i feel like minecraft is kind of that same feeling and it kind of fulfills that for me personally and it may fulfill that for other people i'm just talking about me right now minecraft was truly at its best when you are exploring the unknown and that fear of the unknown that we have further makes it better in my opinion this game goes from being all oh, fun silly game to horror game shit your pants worthy when you enter deep into the mines it's dark there's monsters and you hear cave sounds start playing the cave sounds and the general atmosphere of the caves really make you feel like you're not alone and that's another reason why minecraft's atmosphere and nostalgia is absolutely unmatched I think one of the most effective forms of horror in video games and in general is that feeling of being watched. And Minecraft does the same thing. When I'm home alone, I get paranoia bad. I like being home alone because, well, one, it allows me to actually record and make videos, but two, I also just get super paranoid i'll hear a noise outside my house i'll hear a noise inside my house i'll grab a knife i'll hide in my room i'll lock my door i'll make sure there's nobody around and minecraft heavily evokes that feeling of loneliness and paranoia like you're being watched and you don't know where you look everywhere around you but there's clearly nothing and this world has nothing but monsters some animals some villagers but the villagers don't even talk they just go huh due to things like this hero brine was created an entity that stares at you and manipulates your world as you are playing he doesn't really aim to hurt you more so just make you quit playing the game obviously hero brine is fiction but part of me still wants to believe that he is real because truly minecraft has some strange occurrences and moments where you really do not feel alone you look behind you slowly thinking there's something there maybe hero brine's there but nobody is there it's just you alone on this planet and the loneliness of minecraft 
I also feel like makes it nostalgic for me and other people. Living out this fantasy that you're the only person in the whole world exploring, making these discoveries. It's scary, but I feel like everyone has thought about it at least once. What if I was the only person in the world? What would I do? What would I do if time just ceased for a moment? And Minecraft kind of represents that perfectly. And that feeling of isolation is further amplified by the game's music. Minecraft is known to have some of the best video game music ever composed, and this music is always used in those like nostalgic Minecraft videos, which in my opinion, you know, it, it just makes them even more nostalgic and makes them even more sad. But why do we get sad when we hear Minecraft's music, when we see old Minecraft? It's nostalgia. Nostalgia for that childlike wonder that you felt playing the game. Nostalgic for that weird, scared anxiousness you felt when playing by yourself. Maybe even nostalgia for playing the game with your friends, going through worlds, screwing around, destroying stuff. That's one of the things I'm most nostalgic for when I play Minecraft. The music is captivating and evokes all of these feelings that are hard to put into words. When I hear Sweden, when I hear My City, when I hear basically any song from the soundtrack, I feel oddly calm, but depressed at the same time. It feels like I'm not living anymore, if that makes sense. It makes you wish you were transported back to that time when you first played Minecraft when everything was new. And I feel like it's a really good analogy for growing up. When you first play Minecraft, it's all magical. There's so much to discover, there's so much to do. But once you find out and you discover everything and you become, I guess to say, really good at the game, it becomes rather mundane in my opinion. And you can kind of use that as a depressing example for growing up. When you're a child, you're filled with this wonder. You want to discover as much as possible. You're curious, but as you get older, you lose that curiosity. You lose that childlike feeling, which I feel like is especially true in recent years since COVID-19. The fact of the matter is, Minecraft has a very addictive nature to its nostalgia, where we always come back to it, and sometimes we can even let it hold us back. I know sometimes I'll see these videos, and it'll kind of fool me into thinking, oh, things were much better back then, and in some cases, they absolutely were, but that's the dangerous thing of nostalgia. It will slowly convince you and fool you that what you were doing back then, what happened back then, is much better than your current state. And I'm not saying that's not going to be true. It can absolutely be true. I feel like a lot of my life was better and more relaxed when I first played Minecraft and other games. But that is not me saying that your nostalgic feeling is invalid. Your nostalgic feeling is completely warranted. We all have a story with this game. Just don't let it get to you too much. Don't let it prevent you from doing things you want to do. Staying stuck in the past, staying stuck wishing for things that are long gone, it can hurt you. It can seriously hurt your mental state. And I have had a huge problem with that in the past year, just holding on to things I used to enjoy and things I remember. So if you enjoyed this video, thank you. 
thanks for giving it a watch. Thanks for uh, maybe liking it or subscribing. Minecraft is a very good game. And nothing can change that. Nothing can change how wonderful this game is. Even if I find it rather mundane nowadays and I don't really play it often, I do appreciate the nostalgia that it creates and the influence it has had on us all. So thank you, Minecraft. And thank you guys for watching.